I want you to watch this next clip with me. It is a video I found here on TikTok. I could not stitch or do it. So all credit goes to the creator. But watch this and then we talk about it. The take, take, big response. This is what I was doing. I was flying. I was, the take, take, big responsibility of such things. Pray say? for your kids. People are wild. Pray for your kids. What but you don't give your kids herbs. You are attracting these spirits, eh? So, what are you saying? Herbs attract spirits. Any herb that you're going to use, you are attracting spirits from different people and it's gonna come to you. So if you don't, if you don't use any muti and I go to a sangam and bewitch you, it's gonna be hard because you're not using anything. So before you can start using muti, think. You must you're be strong. They're using our kids. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. Then these kids end up being suicidal because nobody understands. She's tired, all she wants is to sleep, but only seven. So, okay, okay. Yo, yo, yo. Hey! Yeah, they do. Kids are pure, right? Yeah. Kids, don't, kids don't have sex, right? Mm. Kids are pure. And that's what Sangomas want. You saw, uh, I was watching the users the other day. They even called me to come and interview. It's just that I was busy. Um, there was a kid where they were cutting their parts. No, they cut their body parts, their private parts, their breast, their tongue, because they use that for bad things. So for a bit of context before we get into the video, that is an ex-Sangoma. Her name is Koko Skoteni. She's South African. She is talking about how they use kids. And please listen to her wording. You can go and find the full video on YouTube. She says Sangomas use kids. They use kids. Do not give your kids muti. She also mentioned, and this is very important, being in deliverance ministry, I believe that 80% of the problems that adults struggle with nowadays, spiritual attacks, comes from the altars they were taken to as kids. Satan's kingdom does not play games. You take your child there because the child is always sickly. They give the child muti. It looks fine for a few years. All of a sudden, the child starts developing funny blood diseases, funny cancers, funny spirits that has not been seen in the family. She says they use kids. They use kids in the marine kingdom. The child will be dreaming. I'm flying. The child will tell you, I wake up at night. I go through the mirror. I go to people's houses. I do this. I do that. That child is being used in the marine kingdom. Because the child was given muti or herbs. For those people that live abroad and will say African spirituality is our heritage. It is not your heritage. It is witchcraft. This is why people were sent into slavery because of doing witchcraft. Then you will hear people say muti is herbs. It's natural. It's plants growing in the ground. It's roots. Yes, it is. But those things are dug up. They are taken to these altars of sangomas of witch doctors. And they are covenant is made. They are spoken over and they are bewitched. Curses are put on them. Do not give your children muti. Do not give them herbs. Do not take your children to be cut in. Do not take your children for fun, to funny altars. Do not do it. There is no protection other than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He covers us. The Bible is enough. If your child is sick, if your child is having nightmares, if your child is having spiritual attacks where they are not concentrating, where they are not focusing, take the word of God, the living word of God, put it on your child's head and cover them with the blood of Jesus and pray for them. This is coming from a woman who was a Sangoma, she knows how they operate in those circles. Do not take your children to Satan's altars. At that altar, you have to exchange something for something else. Nothing is for free in Satan's altars. What you take your child there for, it will look like the problem is solved for a few months, maybe even a few years. But I'm telling you that altar has made a covenant and something must be paid. Many times, many, many times in deliverance, people will say to me, I've taken my child to this and this person and they took mm -hmm. a black chicken. They took this. They took a pigeon. I just come out of a deliverance session where this woman has generational curses from her mother's side. They were taken to the river as children to bath. She is Jamaican with a pigeon. It is blood sacrifice. 
covenants are made. You cannot see the covenants being made in your realm. But what is being worshipped at that altar? The demon, the spirit, the ghost that was risen from the grave at that altar will come back and will command your child to work for that altar. They will command your child to work for that altar. So stop taking your children. If you have been taken to Satan's altars as a child from ancestral beliefs, it is nothing but demonic worship. They worshiping demons that come disguised as ancestors. There you have it as a sang, uh, from a sangoma. That muti that the child is given, it attracts spirits. The muti attracts spirits. You're giving your child poison. Spiritually, you cannot see what demon comes and jumps on your child because their soul has been opened up to those altars. Stop taking your children. If you have been taken, break the curses and seek deliverance. Many people are struggling with a spirit spouse covenant because they were taken to altars as a child. James Kalawa gave his testimony. It went viral all over the world that when he was one month old, because his mother went to a witch to conceive, when he was one month old, he got married to that witch and he had to serve in Satan's kingdom until the Lord set him free. It happens for many people. It happens for children. They are innocent. Witches collect stuff from them. They collect marriage. They collect finances. They collect destiny. They collect favor from their child. That's why children today are so rebellious. Huh? Children today are just, all of a sudden, the child will start acting crazy. That child was taken to an altar. That altar is collecting what is his. Remember, legal right. Everything in the spiritual realm works with legal right and covenant. Stop taking your children to Satan's altars under the guise of natural medicine. God bless.